Hey guys, what is up? Hope everybody's been having a great day. Coming at you guys with another golf vlog at Horseshoe Bay playing the Summit Rock Golf Club in the resort. If you guys want more videos like this, please like the video and subscribe. It really does help me out. Helps get this video out to more people, helps the algorithm, and it really motivates me to keep making content like this. It's a Jack Nicholas design. It'll be a windy day. We're here in Austin, Texas. It's gonna be a long day. Anything better than 76 or seven, I'll be very happy with. Um, and yeah, we'll just see if we can grind it out. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right guys, so on the first hole, 407 yard par four. It's about 300 to the fescue up there, 260 to cover those bunkers. So you can begin with the two iron and trying to send it right at that, fair, that green side bunker, just right of the green. Hold it a bit left, and honestly a bit long too. It's a little warmer here than uh, Maryland and the other places I've been playing, so I gotta keep that in mind, the ball is gonna go a bit further. So, 111 yards, could be hitting a 58 degree wedge, and pin looks like it's up towards the front, so I'm gonna try to just loft it right over that bunker. All right, so I ended up hitting it short into the pop bunker. Cut, cut under a little bit, that was not a very good lie, so probably should go out giving it a little more club, but we just gotta try to shovel this up, get it just over that lip and then let it chase out to the pin. I'm definitely happy with that up and down. I didn't leave myself much room, but uh yeah. All right, so we smoked this one pretty good. Got 160 left of the pin. It definitely looks like it's in the front a bit because it's actually so doing the math on that, probably five to seven yards in front over the middle of the green. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit of a tailwind. I was about a 390 yard drive. So 160 uphill. I'm probably gonna go with the pitching wedge. I think this wind's gonna help it a little bit. And just try to drop it just left of that pin, give ourselves a look at an eagle. So I pulled that one a bit left, and I mean, you guys can really tell from back here how much of a slope that was above my feet. But honestly, not a bad miss, because that is definitely not a green you want to miss right of. So pretty big short side there. You can see pitch mark right there, spun back, and probably left myself about 35, 40 feet straight up the hill. So not the worst shot uh, at all. Definitely a good leave. And um, I can tell these greens are receptive, which is nice. So. You know, I'm, I think these are bent greens. I wasn't too sure what we'd have since we're in Austin. But yeah, we got about 40 feet right back up the hill. Let's see if we can roll it in for our three.
All right, so that's a really good four there. Didn't quite give it the run I wanted on my, my eagle putt, but fours on par fives are never bad, no matter how long you hit it. So not too upset there at all. And I want to hold three. 178 yard par three. Pretty stiff headwind here as this is the highest point of the entire course by far. In fact, take a look, that's a pretty pretty cool little view here. Um, zoom in to see show some other features out there. I don't know about you, but something weird that I've always done, if I see a like a panorama like that, I always like to count the uh, water towers because you can kind of see them sticking out um, in the middle of nowhere. So. But yeah, 178 yards, pretty stiff headwinds. I'm gonna be hitting an eight iron, take a little bit of a softer swing, try to knock the spin off of it a bit. Really distance is gonna be key here. So just gonna aim for the center of the green and leave ourselves a look at two. All right, so I got the right distance here, maybe a hair long, but uh, pulled it a bit left, so. Not a terrible leave though, can definitely get up and down from here. Got to hit it over this crest here, but got a good bit of room to work with. Um, gonna see what I got there, but probably gonna hit a 58 degree wedge. Just loft it up over the crest and let it run out like a putt. Got a little um, antsy with the wrists, so. On a hole four, 373 yard par four, dead into the wind, very windy right now, so sorry if there's any wind noise. So those bunkers are about 270. You can be hitting a three iron, trying to put it right in front of those bunkers, and uh, should have about 120 left, so see if we can hit a good shot. Pretty solid shot here in the right center of the fairway. You can see just short of those bunkers. There's the pin right there, it's 145. And um, I know there's a lot of wind up there, so it's gonna play a bit longer. So I'm gonna go with the pitching wedge, take probably a less than full swing, and try to just push it back there as far as I can. So that was a little frustrating. Hit a good shot, um, and then the wind just really started pulling on that. Landed right about here, and it kicked all the way down there. So that's definitely a tough bounce. So give me a 62 degree wedge and see if we can loft it up there and give ourselves a chance to get up and down. So that was a really good up and down there. Um, that ball really stopped on a dime and uh, had about a three footer that I was able to clean up. And now we're on hole five, pretty long par five here, 590, dead into the teeth of this wind. And it really gets tight up there. So I'm gonna be hitting it with one iron at that tree right there with that's a little green. And uh, we should be able to still get to the green on two. So let's see if we can do that. It's a really good shot here. We got 287 left to the pin. So we got two iron in hand, we're gonna go for it. Um, it's gonna be tough. I think we can get really close if we hit it well. I mean, this wind is just tough right now. It's a really, just dead into the wind, so. But yeah, see if we can get on the green or just get really close.
Alright, well that was not a good shot. Kind of in this fescue a little bit. You can see some of the reeds right there. What's in there? I gotta be honest, I was going for that because I was filming and I wanted to have an entertaining shot for you guys. If I was in a tournament, there's zero chance I would have gone for that. Not a high percentage shot. And it's actually, if you look up here, it's really tight. Um, there's not a lot of room left or right. Especially from 285 when you're talking about a significant headwind. So we got 90 yards left here. We hit a 58 degree wedge and see if we hit close. Pretty solid shot here. There's a ridge actually that I just barely stayed on top of. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's a very severe ridge. That's like less than two feet from my ball. So I'm kind of I'm pretty happy to have a look at a four here, especially after that second shot. Again, you know, if you look, it's not a ton of room either side of this green, and that's a point I want to drive home to you guys. There is a tendency for people to really want to go for greens in two when they probably shouldn't. And that was a prime example of one there where I just kind of sh did something I shouldn't have done. If you're in doubt, always take the safer option because a, a birdie will always get outweighed by a double bogey. And when you go for a green two, you might have a higher chance of making birdie, but you're also bringing double bogey into play. So it's always something to keep in mind. So about 20 feet, a little up the hill, see if we can make our four. All right, guys, so on a hole six, par three, bit uphill, 195 yards. Wind is almost straight off the left, so I'm gonna go with an eight iron here. Have it hold off the wind and, um, yeah, try to put it just right at this pin and see if we can give ourselves a look. Well, I'll be honest, I don't know how that ball went that far. If anything, I thought that might be a little bit too little club off the tee because it was uphill. But wind must have been slightly different than what I thought. Really not sure. This actually appears to be where it landed right there. Yeah, I mean, it was a decent line. It would have been probably right there if it was a good distance. But yeah, that's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. I thought that was the right club. And, Seemed like a pretty good distance, but evidently not. So, got a 62 degree wedge here, and we have to try to land that up there and just let it filter in. So, let's see if we can hit it close. So that was a really great up and down. That was honestly almost as good as I could do from that chip right there and then made a great putt. What I really liked about that putt was it was good tempo, good pace, and I kind of just put a roll on it and trusted the line. So probably one of my best putts of, in a while, for being honest. So on hole seven, 325 yard par four. This pin right there. This is a bit of a tailwind, so I'm gonna aim at the left end of this screen with a three iron. Let's see if we can put it on there. So this is definitely a unique little situation here. Um, you got fairway all around and this little tree. Um, so pretty interesting thing you did there, Mr. Jack Nicholas. Um, but yeah, I, think I still should be okay and should be able to just kind of hit a little bit of a flighted spinner in there. Just gotta get it under this tree. So probably I'm gonna go with. I think I can get under this limb with a 62 degree wedge 
just try to catch a little bit of a low spinner. So that's what we're going to try to do and see if we can get up and down. tough hole that chip man that ball that was actually a really hard chip I didn't realize how crazy that green complex was but uh, and that putt a lot of wind so I was honestly playing for the wind to pull it a bit and it did it a little a little bit at the end but not quite enough to make the difference but we're on a hole eight 450 yards and we're gonna be hitting two shots here so my shot I'm gonna play with is the two iron it's 340 to that brush I want to keep it short of that and we'll also hit a driver for you guys over the little dip there the trees so you guys can see the difference between the two plays and you know and get a little perspective so two iron at the left center of the fairway and then driver cutting the corner Alright guys, so a pretty good shot here. Almost ran out of room. That was probably a 320 yard two iron. Got 120 left. You can see my drive all the way up there. Full disclosure, that was actually my second drive. My first one I'm um, actually went left. And I, I just want to point out to you guys that's why these the strategy is so important because yes, that is pretty much a chip shot on a 450 yard par four. I think the drive went about 440 or so. However, you know, that's a, I'm hitting four if I play that shot, you know, because I had to re tee. So that's kind of the reality of it. I would much rather have more or less a guaranteed 120 yard shot in versus maybe a 70 to 80% chance to hit it in good shape here. So the numbers just favor that unless you really need to make up a ton of ground, you need to make a lot of birdies. So just something to keep in mind, you know, when you guys are playing. But uh, yeah, 120 yards left, a bit of a healthy one for my right. Then we can go with the 54 degree wedge and see if we can give ourselves another look at a three. All right, guys, so not my best shot here. Wind got caught up a little bit on that one. And honestly, it's just really hard feeling comfortable over shots when the wind's blowing like it is right now. I think a lot of people would agree when you got the wind gusting, it can kind of sometimes throw you a little bit off balance, make you a little more unsure of yourself. And it is really blowing right now. So I've been battling that a lot lately this, this uh, round. So, but as we expected, this course, a lot of the holes are set a lot higher, so you're a lot more exposed to the wind. But we still gotta look at three, probably about a 30 footer up the hill. So let's see if we can hit a bomb. All right, well, you know, that'll piss anybody off, three putting like that. Completely, 100% missed the uh, crown in the middle of that long putt. I hit the, that was the speed I wanted to hit it. I thought it was gonna be a good putt. And I really didn't look too much behind the hole to see how the it would be coming at me once it got to, to the midpoint of the putt. And it, once I got to the other side to hit my comebacker, it was pretty clear I was downhill. But from where I was there, from where I was on the, over the ball it looked like it was uphill all the way so just a misread there it is what it is on hole nine 
420 yards and we got a little bit of room here to go for this pin it's a wind off the left so we we'll hang maybe my driver the little opening right there it should kick right we could probably get pretty close to the screen Alright guys, so that was a really good shot. No more than about 40 yards left here. Absolutely smoked that. It's one of the few holes that I felt was pretty open and could just kind of rip one. So, probably gonna go with the 58 degree wedge here, let it chase up to the back and see if we can leave this really close. Well, that was not a good shot, but I'll be honest. When I hit that, I and that was a terrible optical illusion because I thought that was like five feet away, for being honest. So, yeah, I really hate leaving shots that far short. But um, yeah, I wasn't able to look, I guess, see the shot the way I needed to there. But um, any matter, we got 25 feet up the hill. Let's see if we can make our three. That was a good putt to make. Really glad we were still able to get three there after a pretty miserable pitch shot. So we're just chugging along here. If you guys are enjoying this video again, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep putting out stuff like this as much as we can. So I hope you guys are really enjoying it because I'm certainly enjoying playing. And uh, on hole 10, we'll be trying to fit it up in that little zone right there. 470 yard par four. And uh, get a driver. I actually landed right here and kicked down, so almost made it up to the fairway. About 125 left, and pin appears to be in the center, uh, maybe a little towards the right. So we're gonna be hitting a pitching wedge and just letting the wind grab it. Well, that was definitely my best shot of the day so far. Really had to manufacture a lie, a stance, and just kind of go with the slope and just let the ball take it. And I think this got really close to going in because look where it landed. Guys, this had to, this might have hit the flag, honestly. So, that's where it landed. You can see the angle is coming in from the right and it spun there. So, I mean, if you look at the angle here, that had to have been really close. Um, I'm guessing that rolled right through here, maybe even hit the flag so they can ricochet away. I don't know. I'm about 50 50 that that hit the flag because it was moving hard left to right. So, again, here's another look at it from this angle. Landed right there, and as you can imagine, it's coming in this way, so it spins back. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, we'll clean this one up and uh, move on. All right, so another really solid hole there. Um, now in the hole 11. This this hole is looks pretty. It looks pretty fun. 500 yard par four, and that's a cliff right there, and it all slopes down this way. There's a chasm at about 400. I think my driver will fit. It's gonna be close, but um, really don't want to be hitting an iron on a 500 yard par four. So we're gonna hit a driver, play a bit of a fade, try to work it up to the right side of the fairway and see if we can have a wedge in. All right guys, well unfortunately that went too far. I'm so annoyed, oh God. I hit that so good too, but I uh, got a little nervous because I saw it bounce right around here and it, it it took a healthy hop. I think that thing was I smoked that. It's a bit of a tailwind, so 
yeah so pretty much positive win in there so to drop back here using the line of the target back so yeah i mean honestly and i just want to say this like you know i film these for entertainment so the reality is you know i've never played these courses and i would definitely play them a lot differently in tournament play but um yeah i figured it'd be good to send driver for you guys and obviously in the future probably gonna hit a one iron to back there and still only have you know 125 yeah left so it is what it is you live and you learn so we got about 80 yards left here to see if we can get up and down still make our four Well, not my best shot there. Threw it about 30 feet long of the pin. You know, you guys know this. My wind is definitely my biggest weakness, and you know, I'm still coming off of the World Championship, so I'm I'm getting my game back a little bit. These little minute things like you know, wind and knowing how to flight the ball, I'm still trying to get that back. So I made the exact swing I wanted. Had it been an 86-yard shot with no wind, it would have been perfect. But with this wind, laid it down pretty good. So. We got about a 45 footer comebacker down the hill. Let's see if we can make it for our four. Bit of a tough hole there, but I'm not gonna lie, honestly, hit a good tee shot. The wedge swing, I hit it too far, but the, the motion felt good. So I'm not too concerned, you know, you gotta really judge your scores deeper than the number. If you feel like you're hitting good shots, and just keep hitting good shots and you're bound to start scoring better. And, uh, better, yeah, just focus on hitting good shots. Don't worry about the score, because um, that'll take care of itself. So, by the way, sorry if there's noise. There's literally one hole on this, one property on this hole and it's being worked on, so. Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, we're on hole 12, 230 yards in nine iron. Yes, nine iron because it's a tailwind. As you guys can tell, it's substantially downhill and it will definitely hit pretty hard on the screen and it's gonna pretty good. So believe me, nine iron will definitely be enough here. I just don't want this to go too long, um, so it might be a little short of anything, but it won't be like crazy short. I don't mind leaving myself like 20 feet up the hill, so see if we can hit a good shot. Alright, well, ended up splashing into the bunker here, trying to find where it hit. Um, looks like it hit, uh, I don't know, but probably somewhere over here, you can see the pin. So it was pin high, just pulled it a little bit. This is a really strong wind, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, yeah, see if we can splash it out and get up and down. Guys, that was a really good save there. That's, that could have been one of the hardest holes I've seen so far, honestly, on this course. And now we're on hole 13, 340 yard par four, and definitely a lot going on. So what I'm gonna do, right at the corner there with that bunker, I'm gonna hit a three iron. And if I can get it to land over that bunker, it should kick to the right, and it might be able to funnel onto the left center of the green. And uh, yeah, we might be able to set ourselves up with an eagle putt. All right, guys, well, I suck at golf. Um, ended up hitting it right into that hazard, so took the line of the pin back 99 yards. I'm playing like an idiot, but you know, I don't know. I gotta stop doing these. It, I don't know. I sh it's pretty obvious to me that going at this pin was not the play, but laying back here where I could literally hit a eight iron in the middle of this fairway and have 100 yards left, so. Yeah, I just gotta start making better decisions on the course because it's really costing me dearly. So 100 yards left, hitting my third shot. Uh, probably gonna hit a 
62 degree. See if we can get it close. So another poor shot here, really misjudged this a lot. Landed it on the back fringe and didn't quite hold it the way I needed to, so. Now we're gonna be trying to get up and down, salvage our five, absolutely making a mess of this hole. Again, zero reason I should have gone for this green, if we're being honest, but uh, it is what it is. Course management is definitely what I have to get better at right now, in addition to just getting better at golf. So see if we can chip it close, maybe even chip it in and uh, yeah, get things back on track. This hole there, it's been kind of all over the place in this back nine, but uh, we're on the hole 14, 570 yard par five. Gets a little tight after about 340, so I'm gonna hit a one iron right at that uh, complex of trees right there, and we should have not much more than 200 left. All right, guys, so true to what I said, we have 202 left here. Absolutely smoked that one iron. That's probably one of my best tee shots of the day. So a little bit of wind, 202. Probably gonna, it seems like it's a bit in the face now. It's kind of swirling. I'm gonna go with an eight iron just because I really don't know how far these balls are going right now. So I don't mind being a little short. So let's see if we can hit it close. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys, honestly. What's going, I don't know what's going on with my eight iron. It's apparently now a 280 yard golf club. Uh, because that felt like, I mean, that was, you know, decent line right over the left edge of that uh, green. This hit up here and dropped down. I mean, this was literally carrying 50 yards past the hole. It felt like a bit of a headwind when I hit. And now apparently it must be my guess is that there's just a crazy amount of wind that I just can't quite feel that's up there. And it's just completely different than what I'm feeling down there. So yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm getting pretty annoyed to myself, but let's just see if we can get up and down. Got a 40 degree wedge in my hand. I'm gonna have to belly this, try to run it up a little bit. See if we can get it on the green. All right, so that was actually a pretty good five. Um, really, honestly, shocked I was able to hold that green on my third shot and uh, just didn't quite get it there, but five from where I put myself after that second shot isn't too bad. On the hole 15, 170 yards. Now, I'm keeping it in my head. While I might not feel it up here, up there is a tremendous amount of tailwind. So I'm just kind of putting that in my head because I knew, I've never seen a ball take off like that when I hit that shot last hole. So we're hitting a 48 degree wedge from 170. Going right at the pin, so see if we can hit it close. All right, so pretty solid shot there, and you know, as I predicted, it get all the way back there pretty easily. In fact, a little bit past it, you can actually see where it landed. So. <laughs> That was almost, I was within two yards of being too far, so yeah, you really got to keep your eyes wide open in this Texas wind, so, but I'm learning to do it, I'm getting better, so we have a really good look at it too here, straight back up the hill, maybe 25 feet, so let's see if we can get aggressive and roll it in.
right, it's a pretty ho-hum hole there. You know, I gave it a decent run, just didn't quite get the read right. But that's part of the game. And so now we're on hole 16, 480 yard par four. You can see out in the distance some water. I think it's about 330 to the water, 270 to cover those bunkers. So I'm gonna be hitting a two iron in between those two, in between the little, those two little tree complexes there and shouldn't have much more than 150 left. All right, so the wind gusts a little bit here and was a little bit weak on that shot, so should have got it up there, but we're still in the fairway. 213 to the pin, going to be aiming to hit it in the right center. We have a tremendous amount of wind dead into us, so right center of the green is where we're aiming. 213, probably playing 230. They could probably six iron here yeah, and just leave it in a place where we have an easy two putt. Well, I'm up. You can actually see the pitch mark. Um, yeah, that that's like just got out of its pitch mark. It's like right on the crest of it. Man, this is a tough, tough hole. Everything wants to pull you towards this water. I started that ball right of the green and it just worked hard. So yeah, we'll see if we can get this ball up and down. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Literally on the edge of this ball going into water. So we'll see if we can, uh, Hit a good shot here and try to get this up and down. All right, so I gotta be honest, hard to be upset with a five there after where I hit that second shot. And guys, it's just a, this is a tough course. I really gotta be honest, you know, so it really can be tough, you know, to score well. So I'm just trying to have fun, pull, hit some shots and make sure you guys are entertained. That is my top priority. So on hole 17, 440 yards. Gonna be hitting a two iron right at that fairway bunker there. Shouldn't leave us much more than 150. So we should be in position to attack. All right, guys, so I pulled this one a bit left, but luckily it was one of those things where the more you pull it, the further it goes. So did just clear these bunkers, have 125 left in pretty good position. Keep hitting a 48 degree wedge, and again, guys, I cannot get used to this win. I, because it's, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just continually ignore this win. I'm trying to play it, it's just, it's not that heavy down here up there. It's insane, and I'm just not getting used to it, so. Gonna start trying to do that, and uh, so we got 125 hitting a pitching wedge. See if we can hit it close. All right, so left it a little bit right and short. Wind grabbed it pretty good, but uh, gonna be hitting a 62 degree wedge, trying to get a little spin on it. See if we can get it to grab and leave ourselves a tap in for a four. All right, guys, we made it. Hole 18, it's been a tough day, but uh, let's see if we can finish strong. 582 yard, part five. We're taking driver up the left edge of that bunker and see if we can get it in play. I 
guys, so really good tee shot here. Did just clear this fairway bunker. It's kind of the one thing I was a little nervous about, but because we are in a bit of a headwind. So 257, a bit of a headwind. We're gonna go with the three iron here. Probably play it at this bunker on just left of the pin. See if we can leave ourselves a look at an eagle. All right, guys, so well short here. Um, that was right at the pin, just, yeah, there's a lot of wind. And honestly, what's been tough about today is that there's been times the wind's completely let down, which would, so if I played for that headwind and it wasn't there, I'd be in big trouble. So honestly, I'm not upset with this leaf here. We can definitely get this up and down. Just flip it up over the bunker and get the stop next to the pin. We've got a little backstop with this wind. Give me a 62 degree wedge, so let's see if we can hit it close. guys well i hope you enjoyed that stellar finish yeah that was that was interesting but uh yeah it was a fun course this is i highly recommend you guys check it out um it's out here in austin you know i'll leave the link in the description all that good stuff if you want to check it out beautiful course um very challenging and uh yeah i think you guys will really enjoy it if you play out here and as always i hope you guys enjoy this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time